What's going on, people? This is day 17 of Hustler University. And this is a section that you really are going to enjoy because it's talking about getting paid. One of the things I wanted to do and dispel because I see it in my Facebook groups, I see it all over the internet, is this cult-like following of PayPal. PayPal is this huge company that has so much business that it can choose to alienate and screw over its customers. The account freeze thing is real. Google it. It's not just me. I am really positive that they can't do the things they used to do, but after being burned not once but twice by them, I refuse to use them. Now, if you want to use PayPal, that is your business, but I'm going to talk about some other options that are available to you that are far more safe. Okay, what I'm going to do is pretty much deal with payment systems that I use and know about. There's more that you can Google, but these are companies that I've used and I will give you the breakdown. Square, I actually used Square yesterday for a consult on one of my other companies. It was 350 bucks. Uh, the money was in my account when I woke up this morning. I love Square. Here's another tip. If you have a Square reader and you're having trouble swiping it, for some reason, now I have an iPhone 5, so the earplug is the earphone jack or the headphone jack is on the bottom. And ever since I've put my Square in, reader in there, the swiping is much easier. So turn your phone around let the screen reorientate because it will and you'll find swiping much easier with it at the bottom i don't know why but it is uh, there's just less card errors just another little tip to help you use square flint is like square except it doesn't have a reader it uses the camera on your phone to read the credit card dope 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 we pay is a close approximation to paypal they have all of the same functionality. And what I like about WePay is they pre-qualify you first. They get your social security number. There's this vetting thing that you go through and there's steps you go through. So they don't have to limit you because they vet you from the beginning. Love that. Intuit, uh, another mobile system. I used it briefly, but I didn't make any sense for me to have that because Square doesn't charge a monthly fee. At the time I had the Intuit, they were. Now, none of these companies charge a monthly fee. Now, of course, I use PayPal and you know what I think about that. But with all of these options, there is no reason for you to be wedded to PayPal or to become a PayPal devotee. Makes no sense whatsoever. Don't do it. In fact, since there are no monthly fees, why not have two or three payment systems? And Here's a way that you can set it up. Like I am using Square for my other consulting business because, you know, I'll tell you in the Hustle Mindset, but I'm not putting it on YouTube. But I had a number of friends approach me about how to set up YouTube channels, how to do podcasts. And what I found out was they didn't want me to tell them how to do it. They want me to do it for them. So this other company makes about anywhere from 600 bucks to a thousand a month just doing that. And that's just, you know, another form of income because understand knowledge is power and knowledge is money today so there's you know there's an idea there may be something that you can do and charge your friends and families for doing it because if you read the book a hundred dollar startup there was this one section where they talked about you know teaching a man to fish or actually cooking the fish and serving it people want you to cook the fish and serve it to them they don't want to learn how to fish they don't care about that they want to be served and when I figured that out and it enabled me to talk to people for this business on a different level and I was like okay this is what I'm gonna do and this is what it's gonna cost and they were like cool uh, two more things I use I use to check out which is more expensive on the front end than a traditional online merchant account but there is no monthly fee there are times I don't use it at all so even though it's more expensive on the front end it actually averages out to the same because of the way that I use it. You have to look at total cost. Ribbon. I am starting to fall in love with Ribbon. You can sell digital products. You can sell physical products. You can sell tickets. 
you can sell um, physical products with ribbon. Now, this is the way that it works. You get paid twice a month because they hold on to the money. You get paid on the 15th and the end of the month, whatever that may be. You know, it's just like you know, a regular paycheck. And I'm going to use it for my audiobooks because I don't have to hook it up to my to check out or it's just seamless. And the beauty of ribbon is if you have like, say you buy a storage unit and you buy a unit and there's like 50 of these dolls, right? You can go ahead and put the dolls in, you know, go ahead and process it, you know, take a picture, write up the description and use the ribbon link and put it wherever you want to. So you can have some dolls on eBay. Now, Craigslist has kind of screwed this up because they're not allowing you to put links there anymore. But other places that you can put a link, you can have your eBay thing going on, wherever else you could put it. And the beautiful thing about this is you can put these links on PayPal, I mean, Facebook, Twitter, Tumblr, your, you can anywhere you can put a link, you can put an option for someone to buy one of your products. Think about that. Anywhere that you can put a link. This is going to be huge. This is going to be a very, and Ribbon is a startup. They just came, they were just created last year. And they're going to grow like gangbusters because if you notice with Amazon, they have one click checkout. And there's a reason. I'm going to tell you why they have one click checkout. They've done extensive studies that if people have to make two or three additional mouse clicks, the abandonment rate of the shopping cart is exceptionally high. Yes, that's how lazy we have become that if we have to move our finger two or three more times, we will not buy. So, hey, I want to buy it. One click bump is done. That's how lazy people have become. And the thing is, you have to situate your business to deal with people to where they are versus where you want them to be. So with Ribbon, it gives you one click functionality for your products. That is huge. Go ahead and Google shopping cart abandonment and just look at the numbers. And it's just going to blow your mind. And then think about your times that you've put something in the shopping cart and you're heading toward checkout or maybe your kid came in the room or something. And you got up and you never came back. One click checkout is awesomeness because it's going to increase your sales. Look at how many times you have someone, you know, bid and buy some on eBay. And for some reason, they just never pay. It doesn't take that much for people to flake. So you want them to be able to buy as quickly and as efficiently as possible. And that's why I'm really, really hyping up on Ribbon because I put in one group that was going to run an experiment and just test out ribbon and I said it was a startup and people are like well you're gonna trust your money with a startup I was like yep because if you do the research these this company is funded by well-known venture capital funds I, I mean it's they wouldn't be putting millions of dollars into this company if it was flaky <laughs> and also you have to understand about credit card processing they make their money off the fee they're not like and, you know, I don't, you know, they're holding on to money for two weeks. That may change. You may be getting paid every week because, uh, like I said, it's a startup and you can send in suggestions and stuff. But when I tell you to try some stuff new in the hustler mindset, I'm not just saying that to say it to you. It's something I live and breathe. If I'm telling you to do something, I either did it or I'm doing it because what's going on in the future? You know, and this is just me going into a little sideways. With all this technology that's coming on, there's so many things that are good. This is just like, all right, just take ribbon. The possibilities are endless. You go to a storage auction or say you go to an estate sale. You buy some stuff. You have like a sheet in your car. Click, click, click. Take pictures. Put those items on your Facebook page. Put a ribbon payment link. And you could have money coming to you before you get home. You can have things sold because... Everything for resellology, I've sold. I've sold on Facebook. I have not sold anything on Craigslist. I actually, I'm going to start, you know, tomorrow's going to be a Craigslist day. But just to let you know how powerful this stuff is, it is crazy. Now, let's talk about regular merchant accounts. I am not going to, you know, it's like at one point you may need it, it may not. Because with Square, 
I don't need a regular merchant account anymore, but say you have a store or you're going to do something or say you need a backup because say you're somewhere and you, your, your phone doesn't get a signal, then you can't make any money with Square. So you might need something else. But this is what I learned from having three traditional merchant accounts. Number one, whatever they ask you, they're going to ask you two things. What's your average ticket size? What's your average ticket sale? Triple it. And for this reason, they're going to set your limit and threshold based on the information that you give them. So you want to go ahead and create as much room as possible because this happened. We had just put, you know, 15,000 a month. And we had like a killer month in the warehouse, 45,000 in sales. I wake up and I get an email and a phone call and they held, they were holding on to money. And I was just like, what, what, what? And then this lady, you know, there was this person in the security risk analysis. She was a total a-hole. And I had to reapply to release my money. Now, fortunately, this was cleared up in 24 hours, but still. It was a nuisance because I started like, wait a minute, this is a PayPal moment. I started to freak out. I was like, well, what is this? And that's one of the reasons you want to have more merchant accounts because in case something happens, you can default to your backup. And another thing, and I'm really excited about this, all of this competition means they can't act a fool anymore. They just can't say, hey, I'm on the, because you have an options. You, you have more options now than I had and I'm talking about this, this, a lot of this has occurred since 2009. You have tons of options. This is one of the reasons that PayPal is, you know, they put out that they were not going to have their draconian limiting policy because they have competition. There was no one in PayPal's board of directors say, you know what? We're really screwing people over and we should do the good thing. No, they're just like, damn, we're losing market share and we need to do something to stem the tide because a lot of people feel just like I do. I have uh, two other vendors that I work with. And they're just like, well, either send me a check. You can send, we can send you a check or we can pay you a PayPal. I said, send me a check. And it's like, sure, yes, yeah, send me a check. I do not, I, I'll go ahead and I'll explain what happened with PayPal. And I said, I wouldn't piss on PayPal if they were on fire. And they just laughed. But that's how bad they've pissed me off that I'm just, I mean, seriously, I'm not going to say never, ever, ever. But I would be dragging, you know, kicking and screaming to go use them again. Just letting you know, because there's nothing worse than having a lot of money somewhere that you can't access because someone arbitrarily made a rule and you didn't do anything wrong. Just can't deal with them like that thing. But back on point, you fill out your, you know, triple it, quadruple it. Always make sure it's higher. So if you have a burst and I hope you have a burst with your sales that you don't get limited because they will limit you. But the thing is, with a traditional merchant account, you can actually pick up the phone and talk to someone who actually knows about the problem and can help you. <laughs> it's still a nuisance. But like I said, that was solved within 24 hours. And it's like, OK, well, you know, for this limit, we're going to have to uh, pull on your credit again. Essentially, I had to do the application all over again. And they gave me a higher limit. And, and I went ahead and just because it was 45000 I was like, well, maybe we'll do 100 So it's like, yeah, I was like, you know, I got approved for $100,000 a month. And since the risk rate went up, my processing rate went up. But it was not even a full percentage point, but it did go up. So that's just some of the stuff that can happen to you when you're dealing with merchant accounts. And even with these mobile systems, understand there are limits and you and you as long as you're doing like two, three, four, five, six grand a month, maybe even 10, you're not really going to have a problem. But the minute you really start cranking out 30, 40, 50, 60, 80, 100,000, you're going to you're going to start. People are going to start talking to you. And the reason is their risk level goes through the roof. And depending upon your industry and what you're selling, there's a lot of things that can happen. But this is the cool thing. By ha you can say something happens to your Square account. You, because you're already set up with Vink, or uh, into it, you don't miss a beat. And the thing is, they can't hold your money forever. They can't. So, and also with Square, since it's a swipe, the security rate is very high because you know you're actually looking at the card because the fraud level with car present is very very low, very very low. So. You know, the chances of something going wrong with that is really, really slim to none. And if you're going to get a merchant account, Costco, cheapest rate around. They can do, you know, in store. They can do the physical credit card transaction machine or they can do online. 
cheapest rate around if you want to go that route. Now, this is something that I found to be true when the merchant account people came to the warehouse. Taking credit cards will increase your sales. Now, remember when I was just talking about the one click checkout? You have people that come in and they see you have an item and they want to buy it, but they don't have the cash. If they have debit card or credit card, they can buy it. If they leave and they start thinking, because essentially the world is going to cock block you or you know block your credit. We're going to say we're going to call it cock blocking. She gets in the car. Yeah, mom, I just saw this. I'm going to get some money. I'll be back. Well, girl, do you really need that? Your house cock block or the, the kid calls. Oh, yeah, we got this going on in school. I don't know how much it's going to go. You just got cock blocked by school. It's so many things that can take that money out of your pocket. It's unreal. So you want to be able to close the sale and get the money. Because this is the thing. I had a lot of people that would come in and they would say, hey, I want the bedroom set, but I can't take delivery to next week. And I mean to say, you know what? It can stay here the next week. Close the sale. Because if you say, hey, OK, well, if it's still here and they come back in this, you know, they're going to keep looking. They may find a better deal. If you have a warm, hot sale, cook it up right then and there. Do not play around with it because it doesn't take a lot for people to change their mind. If you go to Barry Swartz, The Paradox of Choice, and just listen, it's a video on YouTube. I highly recommend you check it out. You'll see that people are just swamped with choice. So you are actually helping customers by saying, hey, this is what we're going to do. We're going to handle this. This is how I closed the consulting deal yesterday because she was kind of over here. And I was like, all right, this is what we're going to do because I had already set it up and already had parameters because it's scary doing new stuff or making big purchases. So you have to make people feel comfortable with it. But advertise that you take credit cards and your Craigslist ads, back page, whatever you're using, make sure that they know you take credit cards and say you use the Square Reader. And actually, you know, like, yeah, Square is this wonderful company. Just give them something because they can go Google Square and they can see all the good ratings because a lot of people honestly can't bring you the cash you want. They don't have the cash, but they have the credit. Or they may have a fund they can pull money out of, but they don't have the cash. That's not your problem. <laughs> your problem is to present items, services, products, whatever, and make the sale. So understand that. But it is very important that you advertise. Let your friends know. And the thing is, with the advertising, you're going to have to say it more than once. You may have to say it 10, 15, 20 times. I'll give you an example of that. I recently had someone ask me where could they get my books. And I went and looked, and they've been a subscriber for two years. People come to you inadvertently here and there. They didn't know where to get my books. And this is another thing. The Internet makes people lazy. A quick Google search would have said, bam, the books are on Amazon. But no, that's what you get when you're dealing with the public. OK, now let's have the real, real conversation about keeping books. It is not impossible to do what I did in terms of the cash versus credit thing, but it's becoming very challenging and difficult to do. In the business world, there are many ways to shave a cat. If you get what I'm saying, if you want to buy a car or a house, you need to shave that cat in one direction only. You must show income. There are legitimate ways that your business is making money, but because of deductions and the way that you shave the cat, it looks like it's making absolutely no money. That's not going to help you with a car loan. <laughs> it's not going to help you with a mortgage. And that's not going to help you. It's just not. I mean, I, I had enough. I guess my, my credit is good enough that I could just apply for stuff and get stuff without getting too deep. And because, you know, when I apply for the car, um, actually, I didn't even apply. It was a one of those offers. So I didn't even have to go through that. They just offered it to me, you know. So just know that if you want to do stuff, you're going to have to keep records. You're going to have to keep books and you're going to have to file your taxes because this is another thing. Every municipality, every city, state, the nation is starving for revenue. So 
They're looking for ways to get more revenue and they're coming after people hard with the guns blazing. Understand, taxes are going up. I don't care what anyone tells you. They're going up because they have to. In the future, they're going up. And you being a smart cookie, being right here in the hustler mindset, taking hustler you will be ahead of the curve because the tax code for the foreseeable future, you mean when you and I are gone and our children are old people, is going to be for investors and business owners. I think the best situation is to have a successful business owner and a person who has a job, because if you do it right, all of that money that your spouse paid on the job or, you know, domestic partner, if you're living like that, because I think you can actually do that. You'll get all your federal back. You'll be down there at that 18, 20 percent range. Take advantage of it. It's there. It's your opportunity. Don't get caught up into, well, I'm just paying my fair share. Fair share. This is how I feel on the tax situation. At the height of our business, we employed 15 people as six contractors. It was making the economy go around. We were hiring people. We were paying people big bucks. When you added up the monthly payroll, I'm sorry. I did my fair share. I did more than my fucking fair share. And when you become a producer and you start doing this stuff, your mentality is going to change. And I'm not saying that, you know, we shouldn't look out for our fellow man, but people have to be accountable. And I say this coming from, you know, really humble, poor as beginnings. And I also say this from a conversation I had with my mother. When everything was going crazy, and my mom said, well, you can come home. And I said, Mom, I can't come home. And she's like, why? And I was like, if I come home, I may never leave again. And I am so glad I did not go back home because I may not be talking to you right now. That one decision, I think, was very pivotal in my business life. All right. This is your task. Sign up for Square if you don't have it. And your task in the next week after you watch this webinar, is to shoot for 10 sales. Make at least one with Square and just get used to it and learn how to use it and type in and stuff. You can email them the receipt. You can take a picture of the item. It gives you a lot of functionality. Play around with it. Do some things with it. Make some sales and become comfortable with the technology because I'm telling you, it's an awesome, awesome service. And typically whenever I use it, and usually all my sales have been before 7 uh, Eastern time, 7 p.m. Eastern time. It, it could be later. I don't know. But the money has always been in my account the very next day. I did a, a joint on Friday and the money was there Saturday. I don't know if that was atypical, but do it. Just do it. You know, and it's free. You'll send you a reader. If you need an extra reader, you can go to Target and they sell them in the electronics section for like $9.95 if you need an extra one. So, just look at this because think business, think getting paid, think making money. All right. This is Glendon and I will see you on the good side.